Michael here with RVs of America. We have another awesome Black Series modification for you. Um, we're gonna go in and show you what we originally have in, right now a customer in HQ19. We're doing a swap on the fans that are inside the bathroom and the shower. And you can do this modification on any caravan. They all have the fans in there. So you can swap them out to create more ventilation. It's a really awesome upgrade. So we'll show you the before, and then after we're done, we'll show you the after. So let's go check out the before. Now we're here in the HQ19, and I was gonna show you the stock vent that's in here. If you wanna come into the bathroom, you can see it here. So this is the standard vent that it comes with. And the thing I do really like about this one, which you will lose if you do upgrade to one of the other vents, is the light. That's the fan. The light, <laughs> which is a little cool feature. But if you've ever been to a Black Series, there is so much lighting in these. Don't know if you'll ever really even need to turn that light on, honestly. Um, so anyway, so that's got a light on it. You have this fan on it. I mean, look how big this fan is. Get close to that. Look how big the fan is. Look at the little fins on it. And it only blows one way, which it does kind of a sucking mode. Sucking, so suck out the smells or the humidity or whatever, you know? And then it's manually just twist this to open up the vent. So pretty simple, really basic. It works for what it is. Um, and then the shower one is identical, so I don't really need to show you that one, but you have one on both. On the 19, it's got the shower and in the bathroom. So now I will replace these with the upgrade. Our customer opted for the vents with the most options and the, the, basically the best one you can get. So I will go ahead and do that and I'll show you the result. All done. Now you can check out the finished product. So we are installing Fantastic Vents as the brand and there are multiple models in that. They have like four or so. And they have different features from like being very basic and manual. Even the basic and manual one is an upgrade of what previously was in there. But like I said, this one has all the features that are possible even with a, a remote. And so let me kind of paint a scenario or a picture of actually what, how this works and why it's an advantage. So, you know, when you're down here in the valley um, in the summer, in Utah at least, you know, we can be 100 degrees is a normal thing during the summer, sometimes hotter. Um, but when you go up into the mountains, depending how high you go, you know, like if you go up in the American Fork Canyon, you know, we probably drop 10 to 10, 15 degrees. And if you go up in the high Uintas, you can drop 20 to 30 degrees. So there's a big difference. And so what happens is the trailer's well insulated. It's 100 degrees in the thing or hotter sometimes. You drive up into the canyon and you get to your camping spot and you park, you open up the door and it's still 100 degrees in there. And so you wanna get that cleared out real fast. Um, the idea is to go off grid, so you're not gonna be pumping on the air conditioner unless you take a generator. So there's just windows and ventilation. And so when we upgrade this ventilation, you can get the trailer cooled down a lot faster. And so in this 19, we have two, so we're gonna help cool it down faster. One of the features that these, this one has is suck and blow. So it goes in or out. And so what's cool is you could, I mean, you could crack a window on one side, turn them both on, blowing out, and it'll help ventilate it faster. The other thing that's cool, you could have one sucking and one blowing and create a draft just among themselves. So a lot of different options with the different features. It's really helpful. Um, so if you want to come look at it, I can show you a little bit more about it. So if you look in here, if you get close to the fan, you can see it's four to six times bigger. It literally fills the entire thing where that other fan was just like, you know, a little, little bitty one. And then it has more blades. They're thicker. And these just last longer too. Those other blades, you know, after they get the sun on them, they fall apart real quick. I've had ones that are over 10 years old, still not falling apart and some older RVs that have these kind, uh, which is really awesome for durability. And then it's got its own little fuse in here. And this one is automatic, so you don't even have to touch any of this stuff. It's just real easy. We're like the others, just manual, you know? So a lot of nice features that way. Um, 
So let me show you the remote. These one, this this model comes with a remote, a wireless remote. And that's the one in the shower. And so right here we've mounted the wireless remote and you can just pull it right off and operate it. Um, if you're really worried about it, you could glue it on there. <laughs> but you do need to kind of point at it. So now here on the remote, the cool feature on this is it does have an auto feature. So back to our scenario, you know, if it's 100 degrees down here and I go up into the canyon, I could turn on my auto and set it what I want it to be at. So like 75 degrees would be a nice temperature to be inside here or 70 or so. And so I'd set it to 75 and with the automatic feature, it will sense the temperature inside the trailer. So if it's 100 degrees in here and I set it to 75, it'll keep sucking or blowing until the temperature reaches that point. And when it reaches that point, it will shut off. Now, some of you might be like, oh crap, what if it's raining, you know? So I'm out on a hike and what if it starts raining or something, I gotta come back, you know, I don't want it to get wet in here. It has a rain sensor too. So if it rains, it'll sense the rain hitting that and it will close. So that's another awesome feature there. And, and, and again, you know, you're out on a hike or whatever and it gets warmer in the day or cooler or, or whatever the aspect, when it gets to that temperature, it will shut. So, you know, if you're out on an evening hike, you know, it's really warm in the day and it was, you know, cooling it off, but then you don't want it to get cold in here either. It's going to shut off and close because it's reached that temperature. So the automatic feature is really nice. Um, for setting that temperature and then you can manually control it so you can just set the speed to be the fastest or the slowest so you can it even goes down to like a 10% so like a really slow little fan so the other one in the standard like I said is very it's basic it has one speed on and off <laughs> and it's high speed um, on this there's um, around 13 different speeds so a lot of control which is nice we like to be able to control our things the way we want to so I'm gonna turn it on just so you can see that um, and if you have if you install both if you hold the remote in the middle of the room you'll turn them both on and then if you want them separate you just have to hold it close to the sensor so that's only if you have both of them if you have only one you don't have to worry about that so I can turn one on here <laughs> Right now I'm set on manual, so just going to the highest speed. There you go, open and blowing, and I can slow it down if I want. So yeah, see it just goes through all those different speeds in between. And I can switch if I want it to blow in or out. And then same thing on the other one. Now it's pulling the air in instead of pushing it out, which is really awesome to be able to reverse that. It makes a huge difference because I don't always want to be blowing out the air. Sometimes I want the cold air to come in. I don't know if you can hear it or not. It is a lot quieter than that smaller fan, which seems kind of silly that the smaller fan is louder than the large fan, but it is a huge difference in sound even at the high speed. But really awesome feature. We'll turn those off now, make it a little quieter. Um, so there you have it. There's our fantastic vent modification on the Black Series. Really awesome. We, like I said, we can do that on any of the caravans. And if you want it done, let us know. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification and we'll keep bringing you awesome videos.